subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, A Comprehensive Guide to Calculating F1 Score in PyTorch Introduction The F1 score is a popular metric for evaluating the performance of classification models, especially when dealing with imbalanced data sets. It considers both precision and recall, providing a balanced measure of a model's effectiveness. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the steps to calculate the F1 score using PyTorch, a powerful deep learning library. Step 1, Install PyTorch. Ensure that you have PyTorch installed on your system. You can install it using the following command. Step 2, Import necessary libraries. Open your Python script or Jupyter notebook and start by importing the required libraries. Step 3, Prepare sample data. Create sample data to simulate a classification problem. For simplicity, we'll use binary classification. Make sure to replace this with your actual data set. Step 4, Convert tensors to number pi arrays. PyTorch tensors need to be converted to number pi arrays before using scikit-learn's f1 underscore score function. This is because scikit-learn functions work with number pi arrays. Step 5, Calculate f1 score. Now, use the f1 underscore score function from scikit-learn to calculate the f1 score. Step 6, Implement custom f1 score in PyTorch, optional. If you prefer calculating the F1 score directly in PyTorch without relying on external libraries, you can implement a custom function. Here's an example. Now, you can use this custom function to calculate the F1 score. Conclusion In this tutorial, we covered the process of calculating the F1 score using both scikit-learn's F1 underscore score function and a custom implementation in PyTorch. The F1 score is a valuable metric for evaluating the performance of classification models, and understanding how to compute it in PyTorch can enhance your deep learning projects. ChatGPT